This week leading up to Juneteenth, we're highlighting people and initiatives in Colorado's black community that are committed to breaking down barriers. The Black Resilience in Colorado Fund is doing just that. As Denver 7 CB Cotton reports, the fund helps people's dreams take flight. Then we have this heading indicator here, which tells us which cardinal direction our aircraft is facing. The complexities of an aircraft, Camille Bradley knows all too well. I've been a pilot for about five years now. But every time she's taken off, She's also learned more about the complexities of life and how to rise above them. Something that you can ask any pilot about, it's something like no other. Really a good way for you to feel like you can leave all your problems on the ground um, and see life through a new perspective. One that she now shares with others who want to fly. As a certified flight instructor, Bradley spends part of her time at Aspen Flying Club in Inglewood. Um, I get to see it from a fresh pair of eyes all the time because I'm constantly um, teaching it to new people. She also works for Boeing as a system and data analyst. These extensive achievements, Bradley says, it all started with people who believed she could soar. And to have a program really invest in me um, laid the foundation for what I do today and my passion for aviation. The Mile High Flight Program. Bradley received a scholarship from the nonprofit back in 2015 to begin her flight training. Well, I'm Captain Eric Mosley and I'm uh, one of the coordinators for the Tuskegee Airmen's Mile High Flight Program. Captain Eric Mosley's aviation journey spans decades. He's the son of the late Tuskegee Airman, Lieutenant Colonel John Mosley. He's an Air Force veteran and a man of tenure with United Airlines. I'm flying as a 777 captain with United Airlines. I've been with United uh, now for uh, 30 years and I've just had a, an incredible ride with, uh, with United Airlines. And Captain Mosley says he's thrilled to get young people off on a ride of their own. The Mile High Flight Program offers learning experiences and scholarships for high schoolers to explore aviation or begin flight training. The goal is to introduce more people of color and those of various socioeconomic statuses to the aerospace and aviation industry. For 25 years, the program has taken many teens from protégés to pilots. We've uh, uh, got pilots uh, with Delta Airlines. We've uh, got pilots who are now flying with the United States Air Force. Uh, we've got uh, one pilot who uh, just got his wings uh, in uh, the Marine Corps and is flying the uh, uh, the uh, Osprey, the V-22. That success rate, supported in part by Denver's chapter of the Tuskegee Airmen, but also other generous philanthropic efforts, like the Black Resilience and Colorado Fund, also known as BRIC. This year, BRIC gave the Mile High Program $20,000. Uh, and to be recognized by an organization like BRIC uh, was uh, just uh, very uh, moving and heartwarming, and it makes us incredibly proud. Launched only a year ago, the Black Resilience and Colorado Fund had the goal to raise a million dollars. Instead, they raised two million and have now granted out over a million dollars in funds. What BRIC is about is the resiliency of the black community and um, being able to support black-led and black-serving nonprofit organizations. LaDawn Sullivan directs the BRIC Fund. She says providing dollars for black-led nonprofits helps fill a historic gap. Sullivan says it's because people of color have often been tested rather than trusted. An organization of color, particularly black-led organizations, are often given less than half of what they need in order to even pilot a program or pilot the work. She's grateful that now black led nonprofits in the Denver metro area will have the brick fund to look to for support, support that's helping young people like Bradley ascend beyond life's complexities. That's really what this is about. CB Cotton, Denver 7.